Namaste, Claire. Namaste, Chef. How are y'all doing on this beautiful Friday? Great. It's beautiful. Great. Wonderful. This is Cooking and Learning with Care segment with Chef Destiny and Chef Aja. <clears throat> Shawanda. And we are glad to be here with you today. We are going to get started on this beautiful Friday. It's so nice outside. Information day. Here we go. Uh, somebody can mute there. Okay. All right. Go ahead, Acha. All right. Good morning, everybody. Everybody. Good morning. Great today. Um, today I'm going to share with you some things to do this weekend. Okay, it's supposed to be a nice weekend. Um, we're approaching spring. Just want to give you some free things to do in Metro Atlanta, just to get out the house, and also some free things to do in your house. All right. If you want to have a good breakfast or brunch, here are some great breakfast and brunch locations um it's by atlanta eats atlanta eats uh they promote these certain restaurants one is called sun in my belly out of east lake atlanta <clears throat> now you have desta ethiopian kitchen if you want to switch it up have some international breakfast see what an ethiopian breakfast look like looks like i'm um, supposed to be a wonderful restaurant off of briarcliff road Got i've been some. there is it good? Yes, ma'am. That's good. Um, Gato out of Atlanta is a Tex-Mex restaurant. They're supposed to have a great vegetarian brunch items. Then you have the Rising Sun, a new restaurant in Avondale Estates. They offer low country food and different Southern classic foods. Um, there's a Guatemalan restaurant on Buford Highway called Zela Pan Cafe. They're supposed to have incredible breakfast and brunch um, items as well. Here are some black owned restaurants. Some of them I've mentioned before, some of them I have not, but I encourage you to check them out. The Real Milk and Honey out of College Park, The Corner Grill out of College Park, Gotcha's Restaurant, excuse me, Gotcha's Breakfast Bar, Lippity Split Southern Kitchen Bar in Hateville. And last but certainly not least, Virgil's Gulla Kitchen out of College Park. If you want to get out and about and check out a small, intimate um, art exhibit in the West End in Zena's shop, the Divine Feminine has an art exhibit dedicated to Brianna Taylor. All right. Um, also, the Atlanta Science Festival is this weekend. And mm -hmm. Cascades Springs Discovery. Um, they're having a Cascade, excuse me, Springs Discovery Walk. It's a guided tour outside um, at the park at Cascade Springs Nature's Preserve. And if you just want to have a guided tour, get out of nature, soak up some vitamin D, that's a great free option. Um, as you know, we have beautiful parks in Atlanta, um, the Atlanta Beltline, the Atlanta Memorial Park, Avondale Lake Park, if you come to DeKalb County, Brookhaven Park, and like I just said, Cascade Springs Nature's Preserve. Now, here are some virtual free events. I talk about eventbrite.com a lot. I really encourage y'all to check it out. They really have some phenomenal free virtual events that are, you know, you, you can have a chance to virtually meet renowned chefs, renowned authors, renowned filmmakers, renowned artists. And it's just a great way to get out there and see things from the privacy of your home. If you want to move around, on March 13th, they're offering two free Zumba classes, one at 11 a.m., one at 6.30 p.m. They're also offering a 10 a.m. kickboxing class, which I thought was kind of cool. Um, they also have a, you know, a free event where they're telling women how to, I don't think it just pertains to women, but a self-defense class, a virtual self-defense class taught by a Filipino martial artist. I thought that that was pretty cool, just teaching you different tips to protect yourself. Um, on March 14th at 3 p.m. for International Women's Month, 
they're having different dance classes being taught by renowned dance teachers. You can learn how to dance Ugandan style, might be kind of cool, Latin style dance, Afro fusion style dance, and Bollywood. And that's a four hour dance series on March 14th, where they're just gonna teach you some different dance routines, exercise in your home. I thought that was kind of cool. If you're into music, international music, on March 13th at 8 p.m., they're having live Nigerian musicians virtually through Zoom. I thought that, that was kind of cool to check it out. And like I said, these are all free. If you want to go more towards the culinary um, side, on 313, Chef Gabriel Reyes will be giving a vegan cooking demonstration. Also, um, ties into the Darnell slideshow that we're going to be doing for a culinary slideshow. On 313 at 12 p.m., secrets to taking great food photos like a pro. That might be something cool to check out to improve your pictures when you submit those pictures to Destiny. Um, also, on 314 at 3 p.m., exploring Ghanaian street food. They're going to be showing you, teaching you how to make some Ghanaian, excuse me, um, items. If you're into art or if you want to <clears throat> look at some virtual events as it pertains to art, the High Museum has a free virtual exhibit mm -hmm. for the photographer Dawood Bay. Might be very interesting to check out. Also, the National Women's History Museum for this month is giving free virtual tours. So if you wanted to virtually tour the National Women's History Museum, register, sign up, check it out. If you want to partake in some community discussions, okay, they're going to be having a um, panel by a Dr. Wiley of Emory. She's going to be discussing the COVID vaccination, what's in it um, as it pertains to African-American community. That's on March 13th at 10 a.m. Also, the National Coalition of 100 Black Women at 10 a.m. They're going to be providing different holistic approaches to dealing with COVID mentally, emotionally, etc. Um, if you want to watch a film, they're going to have an international Women's Day film where you get to see different short films. And immediately after the short films, they're gonna have the directors have a Q&A panel. And these are world renowned directors. Um, they have a woman director out of South Africa. I forget her name. And they have these great, great films to check out. And last but certainly not least, if you want to laugh and chuckle in the privacy of your home for free, they're having Black Women in Comedy, a three hour comedy show for the Laugh Fest. Now, a disclaimer, if you check that out, that's grown people's comedy, but we're all grown. But it's supposed to be fun, you know, have you some good laughs in the privacy of your home. So I hope that some of these events um, you check out, some of these restaurants you explore, some of the international restaurants you explore, you know, it's going to be a beautiful weekend this weekend and just to get out there and move around. Are there any questions about what I've discussed today? Yes. What was the date of the 100 Black women at 10 a.m.? Um, it is 3.13. And also the Black women in comedy is the same date? Yes, ma'am. But it's at 6 p.m. 6 p.m. The Black women comedy show is at 6 p.m. The uh, 100 Black women panels at 10 a.m. And Dr. Wiley was at 10 a.m. also, right, on the same date? Yes, ma'am. Okay. All right, Chef, that's all I have for today. If there's no other questions. Thank you. You're welcome. Time for hot tips and hot hacks. Y'all ready? Yes, ma'am. Where you at? Got to have on a mask. I had to drop my car off again to get something else done to it. Oh. Good morning, everybody. Hope everybody enjoying this nice Friday. Morning. I have three tips and two hacks for you. Number one, add a few instant uh, add a few instant potato flakes to soups or sauces 
they are, they are thin, it is a good thickener. Okay. Use, use the bottom portion of an empty two liter pop bottle to make flour ice for your punch bowl. It will look like a flower. Number three, if you find the need for more oil in your pan when sauteing, add it in along the strong, uh, let's say add it in a stream along the edge of the pan so that by the time it reaches the ingredients being cooked, it will be heated. Number four, butter absorbs odor very easily and quickly, so keep covered. And number five, this is for grandkids. Use cupcake wipers on the base of the popsicles for a drip-free summer for treats for kids or adults. That's all I have. If there's no questions. Thank you. Thank you. All right, Brent. Right. Hello, hello. Good morning. Happy Friday to you all. Morning. Happy Friday. Thank you. Uh, I'm going to start off with my cooking tip. Number one, peel garlic easily by microwaving it. Number two, soak mussels and clam in water with a few teaspoons of flour. Number two, Get more juice from the lemon by microwaving it. Number four, remove excess fats from soups and stews with ice cubes. Number five, toss a pinch of salt onto a cutting board when chopping herbs. Okay, these are my cooking hats. Piping bananas slowly with a banana hanger. Number two, Use a hand. Wait, 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 what you said? Uh, a way to ripen bananas slowly is to put the bananas on a banana hanger. Oh, okay, ripen. I can't hear you. I'm sorry. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, number two, use vegetable water and gravy. And number three, add neutral yeast for a cheesy flavor. Add who? Uh, nutrial yeast. Ghee or yeast? Yeah, yeast. Oh, okay. Um, for cheesy flour. Okay, okay. nutritional yeast, yeah. Okay. For cheesy well, thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you. All right, I'm going to talk about gut health today. And gut microbiome refers to specifically to the microorganisms living in your intestines. A person has about 300 to 500 different species of bacteria in their digestive tract. While some microorganisms are harmful to our health, many are beneficial and even necessary to a healthy body. Seven signs of an unhealthy gut. Number one is upset stomach. Number two is a high sugar diet. Number three is a unintentional weight change. Number four is sleep disturbance or constant fatigue. Number five is skin irritation such as eczema. Number six is autoimmune condition. And number seven is food intolerances. To achieve a healthy gut, number one, you need to lower your stress levels. Number two, get enough sleep. Number three, eat slowly. I know I used to hear from a lot of seniors, you're supposed to chew like how many times? About 20 times. 20 times with each bite of food, correct. My dad said 40. Well, okay. Um, stay hydrated. Take a prebiotic or a probiotic. Um, check for food intolerances that you may have. Like as I notice, I get older. Um, certain things don't agree with you the same as maybe when you were younger. Now I've never been good with cow milk. So I'm glad they came out with all the other different kind of milks. And everybody know I'm allergic to what. 
Brent Shawanda, y'all remember what I'm allergic to? Huh? I, I failed myself as a work. I don't know. I forget that. <laughs> well, I'm glad. I ain't going to tell you because you might try to kill me. <laughs> well, I'll just play. I'm just playing. Uh, number seven, change your diet. Um, four types of food to help with gut health are high fiber foods, garlic and onion. Fermented foods like sauerkraut, uh, cabbage, collagen boosting foods such as bone broth or salmon, which is salmon is also good for what? Which Your one heart. Do? Huh? It's a good omega-3. Y'all remember we talked about that? Yeah. Oh, Three, right. All right. All food is ultimately broken down in the gut to a simple form that um, goes into the bloodstream and deliver as nutrients throughout our body. This is the only possible way to have a healthy digestive system. Now, since one of those um, um, notations of how you know if you got an unhealthy gut was getting plenty of sleep. I just wanted to show y'all and we could see what type of sleeper you are. I'm going to share my screen. What your sleeping position reveals about your personality. Today, we're really excited to present a simple test that can reveal a lot about who you are. Trust us, it's really straightforward. Watch this video and pick a position which you think you sleep in most of the time to learn something new about yourself. Position number one, with the knees out. Scientists say that this Who is one of the like that? positions to sleep sound at night. There's another fact. If you can't fall asleep without sticking your knees out whilst lying on your side, then you are a calm and reliable person. It's not easy to offend you, and you're not scared of the future. You smile even on the most miserable winter morning and can adjust to any changes that occur in your life. Seems that you are the optimistic one. Position number two, the fetus. This is one Anybody of the sleep most like that? sleeping positions in the world. If you mainly sleep in the fetal position, then you mm -hmm. feel the need to be protected, understood, and sympathized with. By curling up in this way, you literally try to cut yourself off from the problems you face day after day. Although you seem tough, you are a very sensitive person. The perfect outlet for your talents and potential would be to paint, learn to dance, or write a blog. Don't be shy. Unleash your creativity. Position number three, on the stomach. If you sleep lying on your stomach with your arms and legs sticking out, then you can call yourself a leader. As an impulsive person, you take the initiative and make sure there's order in both your personal and professional lives. You prefer to plan everything in advance, and you aren't a big fan of surprises. You can hardly cope with personal criticism, but your ability to persevere and your sense of responsibility help you achieve great success. Position number four, on the back. If you sleep lying on your back, then you're most likely a positive person who loves life and good company. Also, you like to be at the center of attention. You work stubbornly and persistently, but in a rational way, and prefer to always tell the truth. People who sleep in this position often have very strong personalities. Position number five, the soldier. If you sleep like a soldier at attention, lying on your back with your arms at your sides, then you're probably a well-adjusted person. You know your life goals and single-mindedly strive to achieve them. You can be strict, pedantic, and demanding, but mostly to yourself, above all. You're also a good listener. That's why you have so many friends. Position number six, with one knee up. If you sleep like a hero with one knee raised, then it might be that you're an unpredictable person who is often drawn to all kinds of adventures. However, sometimes you're... But often you find...
find it difficult to be decisive and make a choice. In general, you have a preference for stability, thoroughness, peace and quiet. And if you step in different poses rather than one, that's a sign that you have a multifaceted personality. It means you have some hidden depths that not even you yourself fully comprehend yet. Well, it was true for me. How about you? Were we right about your personality? Share your thoughts. Uh, I'm gonna say I might be a little bit of all of them throughout the night. <laughs> I was gonna sleep one way. Now I probably, I probably ain't never slept number five, the soldier. I, right. I just don't see how you can sleep like that, but okay. And then they don't even have the one where you need the pillow in between your legs because I sleep right. like that too, with the body pillow. Right. That's it. All right. Um, before we get into our next thing to go along with gut health, um, a few more news tips about intermittent fasting. It's all about the timing. The latest from the scientific community on intermittent fasting, a weight loss trend that advocates taking regular breaks from eating. Recent years have seen dieters try a number of different approaches from weekly 24 hour fast to limited food intake two days a week to fasting 16 hours out of every 24 hours, which is what I do. And my window is from 2.30 in the afternoon to nine at night, but you can make yours whatever you want. So um, you have some that goes from 7 a.m. to 3 p.m. and then you don't eat for the rest of the day. Um, when you eat, focus on meals that feature fruits, veggies, beans, whole grains, healthy fat, and lean protein. Skip the sugars and refined grains. Skip snacks too. You might want to replace them with a walk or a quick workout. Staying active and keeping up muscle mass is key. Um, like I told y'all, I've started doing yoga with my sister. I've also added um, to my exercise routine. Um, it's called trap cardio. And it's nothing but dancing and exercising, but it's a good hour workout. You can find that on YouTube if you want to try it. And the reason intermittent fasting works is because most of us, all of our lives are conditioned to eating three meals a day, morning, noon, and night. But go back to the hunter-gatherer times and humans ate when food was available or when you could go out and kill it. So... People may have went long stretches without food. Um, in other words, we evolved to survive in situations of food scarcity. Our bodies begin to conserve energy after several hours without food, burning fat when there's no glucose to burn. Other chemical changes in the body lead to improved insulin sensitivity, decreased inflammation, and cardiac and brain benefits. Shifting your eating time frame to earlier helps counter the increased risk of obesity and diabetes, by diabetes linked to nighttime eating. And I can attest to that because there were clothes and shoes I couldn't wear, the inflammation and swelling on my feet, ankles and legs. Now I can fit shoes and clothes that I couldn't fit for years probably. So awesome. it's very, very beneficial. But as long as you get that 16 hour window in between eating and then that'll work and your body will eventually um adjust just like mine did because at first i was having headaches 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 so i just had to get through that and um your body will work for you all right so what time do you eat your last meal um nine my hours are two to nine And we're gonna go over. Uh, time you go to bed. Oh, I might not go to bed. It depends. <laughs> Sometimes I'll be up 11, 12. It just depends. What time you go to bed? Um, about midnight, but I don't I try not to eat that late though, because they say it's not good to have that food on your stomach. 
Yeah, mo- well, normally, you know, I eat at 2, 2.30. At the latest, it might be 5 or 6 o'clock. And then yeah. after that, it's pretty much water or if I want a healthy snack, some nuts or something like that. But no, I'm not just, I'm not cramming three meals in those hours is what I'm saying. I've okay. cut mine all the way down to basically one to two meals. If that, mostly it's just one meal. And then I drink a lot of water or fruits or veggies or whatever. Um, yeah, but I'm not eating all the way up until nine o'clock, no. But those hours just work best for me. Uh, but like I said, y'all could do what hours work best for you. Something in the chat. Hold on. Oh, Miss Betty, you got it right. Green beans was what I'm allergic to. And Miss okay. King, what is this low starting the low food map diet? Okay. Everybody, y'all, um, Miss King put something in the chat. Y'all want to check that out? I'm going to take a picture of it so I can check it out later. All right, I'm just going to give you some more foods for the best gut health. We don't think that the gut is that important. Some people might not, but it's a direct link with your brain. And it might can tell you some other things that are going on. So here we go. Did you know by restoring your gut health, you can heal the rest of your body? Find out what foods you need to be eating to repair your gut. Do you know the foods you should be eating for better gut health? Have you ever had a gut feeling or felt butterflies in your stomach because you were excited? Your gut and brain are connected by millions of nerve cells and the gut is often called the second brain for good reason. When your gut is in bad health, it can take a toll on your mental well-being by increasing depression and anxiety. After all, the majority of serotonin is created in the gut, and low serotonin can lead to sugar cravings, addicting behavior, and mood disorders. Since almost 80% of your immune system resides inside the gut, it's vital that you are eating foods for better gut health. Your gut is full of billions of colonies of bacteria that help to digest food, produce serotonin and boost your immune system. This delicate balance can get disrupted by overeating sugar, pesticides in our vegetables, and even use of prescription medications. By daily adding in some foods for better gut health, you can not only increase your immune system but also lower your risk of various diseases such as heart disease and cancer. In this video we will talk about 13 best foods for gut health. So keep watching until the end to find out all of them. 1. Garlic Garlic has many antifungal and antibacterial properties to help fight infections, but it is also a source of prebiotics to help feed those good microbes. Healthy gut flora eats prebiotics to thrive and reproduce. You can add garlic into many meals, but it is best eaten raw while the enzymes are still alive and fresh. Cool. Have y'all ever ate you garlic raw? Like capsule if you don't enjoy the taste of it in your food. Two, I have. Cyprus vegetables. Vegetables like broccoli and cauliflower contain sulfur and antioxidants which work on reducing inflammation in the body. They also contain fiber which is vital to keep the colon clean and to move regularly. Raw vitamin C and vitamin D which help protect your body from infection. Both broccoli and cauliflower can be eaten raw and cooked to benefit the gut. 3. Unripe bananas. Green bananas contain a fiber-resistant starch that is broken down and eaten by the gut bacteria making it a great source of prebiotics. Resistant starch has been shown to have a positive effect on gut health and increase bowel movements. It also helps you feel fuller longer leading to less overeating and cravings. 4. Apple Cider Vinegar Many gut problems are the result of low stomach acid which allows pathogens to multiply. Adding apple cider vinegar to your daily routine helps to properly digest food, detox the body and help balance your body's pH levels. The pectin from apples in the vinegar also provides a nice source of prebiotics for your beneficial bacteria. This vinegar is a home remedy for heartburn and uric acid buildup known as gout. You can add apple cider vinegar to a glass of water and drink in the morning to aid digestion throughout the day and keep your pH balanced. 5. 
Kefir. This probiotic yogurt drink is made by fermenting milk and is packed with good bacteria. Mm -hmm. It originated in the mountainous region between Asia and Europe, as well as Russia and Central Asia. It also makes a great addition to smoothies and soups, or you can use it as a base for salad dressing, add lemon juice and seasoning. 6. Ginger. Fresh ginger can help in the production of stomach acid and it stimulates the digestive system to keep food moving through the gut. Add fresh grated ginger to soups, stews, smoothies or stir fries. Pour boiling water on grated ginger to make refreshing ginger tea. 7. Onions. Probiotics are known to keep your gut clean. Onions are loaded with the probiotics and can be a safe source for the growth of good bacteria. You can consume cooked onions or can incorporate them into your salad as well. If you it smell unpleasant you can always soak sliced onions into tap water before adding it to your foods. Probiotics work well if you limit the intake of processed foods as they contribute to the slow growth of good bacteria. 8. Coconut Products Coconut products have healthy fats and medium-chain fatty acids such as caprylic acid. They contain antifungal properties to kill off bad pathogens growing inside the gut. Components in coconut oil such as caprylic acid have also been shown to reduce pH. Pylori bacteria which causes ulcers. It's easy for candida to overgrow when you are overeating sugar, and coconut oil is a healthy way to add healthy fats into your diet and keep pathogens at bay. It's a great oil to fry in because it has such a high smoke point and can be added right to your skillet. Mm. Caprylic acid can also be taken separately as a supplement in between meals. 9. Peas gut bacteria need fiber to flourish, so the more fruit and vegetables you consume the better. Peas are full of soluble and insoluble fiber to help keep your system in balance. Add peas to stir fries, soups or salads. 10. Olive oil gut bacteria and microbes like a diet of fatty acids and polyphenols. These are found in olive oil. Studies have shown that it helps reduce gut inflammation. Use it for salad dressing or drizzle it over cooked vegetables. Some studies have also found olive oil to be beneficial in easing indigestion problems and can also benefit your pancreas through lowering its requirement to produce digestive enzymes. 11. Yogurt. Live yogurt is an excellent source of so-called friendly bacteria, also known as probiotics. Look out for sugar-free full-fat versions and add your own fruit for a tasty breakfast. Yogurt drinks can contain high numbers of bacteria that are good for the gut, far more than you would find in a normal yogurt. Do be mindful though as they can have a high sugar content. 12. Mangoes. Incorporating only one mango in your diet can change the condition of your gut. It has countless benefits specifically for your gut. It nourished your gut by keeping good bacteria alive in it. It is also loaded with bioactive compounds that are super healthy to maintain gut health. The best part associated with the mangoes is that you can add it to various smoothies as well. 13. Bone Broth a homemade bone broth is one of the best sources of collagen and gelatin which plays an essential role in repairing leaky gut. By sealing up the gut you can notably reduce inflammation and reduce allergies, bone broth has a soothing effect on the gut and can relax cramping and discomfort. It can easily be made in your crock pot or instant pot with leftover chicken or beef bones and vegetables. You can also ask your local butcher for soup bones at your local grocery store. Drinking hot bone broth for breakfast is a smart way to start the day. Thank you for watching. All right, I hope y'all took some of those tips down. I'm going to definitely be trying some of those. And since we had such a bad Jeopardy game yesterday, I found y'all a hard one. Ready. <laughs> All right. Here we go. For 200, this purple skin edible is the star ingredient of baba ganoush. What is, should I show y'all the multiple choice or do y'all just want to answer? Eggplant. 
Let's see. Is that what we're going with? X, X. Correct. Eggplant. Okay. The next question. This pasta is two to three inches wide. This pasta is two to three inch wide noodles with straight or ripped edges. What is? Lasagna? Lasagna noodle. Yeah. Let's see. Cannonelli, farfalli, and lasagna. Correct. Oh, I might not have went hard enough for y'all. <laughs> From 1899 to 1920, the number of bottlers of this soda grew from one plant to more than a thousand. What is? Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola. Correct. For 400. <laughs> Zuppa is Italian for this dish. What is soup? Soup. Yep. Correct. Oh, I'm scared of y'all. Uh -uh. <laughs> I thought I was doing something. Orange butter sauce doused in Grand Marnier and prepared in a chafing dish. It's flame on for this crepe dish. What is? Crepes, Suzette. Um, crepes. Suzette. I said crepes, Suzette. Crepes, Suzette. Okay, we're yeah. going crepe. Correct. <laughs> what y'all know about crepes, Suzette? <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> this nut from the state tree of Texas is a southern pie staple. And y'all answering all these questions uh, without Mr. Uh, Stacy Hill. Pecans. Pecans. All right. Correct. <laughs> I ain't gonna get y'all on one. For 600, in 2011, these greens, popular in soul food, became the official vegetable of South Carolina. What is? Gotta be collards. 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 Mm -hmm. Correct. Yeah. <laughs> in 2006, the Chicago City Council banned restaurants in the city from selling this goose liver dish. What yeah. is? Pate. We went over this too. Pate. Pate. Which one? Pate. Pate. You go with Correct. At 70-ish calories, this food packs a lot of protein and nutrients like colon and memory booster. What is? Mm. I ain't going to show y'all the difference. That's 70 calories. <laughs> Must be some boots. Nut. No. Well, I finally got y'all. Yep. <laughs> Peanut. Multiple choice. Which one? Milk. Apple. 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 We apple. went over memory stuff many times. Y'all going with apple? Yes. Apple. Egg. Uh -oh. Egg. 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 Okay. For 800, this puffy poppy seed roll shares its name with the former royal title. What is? I see you thinking, Mr. Stacy. Hmm. <laughs> puffy poppy seed roll. Correct. Kaiser roll. Okay. This rectangular thick crust pizza is not popular on the Italian island from which it gets its name. What is that's easy. Mm. That bread. No, no, no. Mm -mm. Strombali, 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 Sicilian. Which one? Strombali. Strombali. Ain't no Strombali, Juliet. It's <laughs> Stromboli. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what we going with? I'm picking it. And. It's a uh, 
Oh my it's lord. It's Sicilian, whoever says Sicilian. Uh, in French, this citrus fruit is un pamplemousse. What is? I have no idea. <laughs> tangerine. We're going with tangerine? Tangerine. Okay. And fruit. Grapefruit. 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 For a thousand, this pungent spice Native to Indians, Malabar Coast is said to be the world's top selling spice. What is? Turmeric. Turmeric or cumin. Cinnamon. Cinnamon, I'm sorry. Cinnamon. All right, let's see. Uh, oh, pepper. 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 Which one is? Oh. Traditionally served in a copper mug, this cocktail is vodka, lemon juice, and ginger beer. It's Stacey got three. Really, what is? What is that, Stacey? Uh, oh, Moscow, Moscow, Moscow Mule. Moscow Mule. Moscow Mule. Oh, y'all. Moscow Mule. Everybody knew that. <laughs> <laughs> Correct. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This bevolved mollusk has two fan-shaped shells, two fan-shaped shells that can be used to serve dishes like coquilles, St. Jack, Jock. What is? It has to be a scallop. Is it a scallop? Oysters. Where are we going with freaking frack? I said scallop. <laughs> I said oysters. Let me see the question again. Has two fan shaped shells. I'm, I'm agreeing with me, Peggy. Scallop. Correct. Hey, hey, hey. And the final hey, hey, hey. jeopardy. Its original name meant bitter water, and it was made palatable to Europeans. After the Spaniards added sugar, what is? The tiny water? They ain't even give us an answer. We got to guess. I said, I said tonic water. Tonic? Lemonade. That's, that's I said lemonade. You say lemonade? Oh, mm -hmm. added sugar. Uh, they added sugar to lemonade. That's right. Okay. We're going to go with lemonade. Let's see. I said water. I don't think that's right. Tonic water. Mm, tonic right, water. water. Tonic has sugar in it. Chocolate. 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 <laughs> wow. Y'all got 11 Chocolate. out of 16 right. You're a Jeopardy champion. You're an expert when it comes to the world of Jeopardy, especially when it's about food. That's awesome. Congratulations, <laughs> everyone. I'm making How many did we get? Chocolate, I can't believe it. Mm. How many did we get correct? Uh, 11 out of 16. It's a okay. Jeopardy champ. All righty. All right, I'm really proud of y'all. <laughs> All right, that's the end of today. Um, so glad to see you with us again, Miss Catherine. How are you doing? I'm doing fine. Okay, um, still sending our love to you. Thank you. For you. And the family. Uh -huh. Thank you. The beautiful Friday. We're gonna get out of here. All right, everybody. Let's give each other ourselves love. our love. Fall in love with the process of becoming the most <laughs> best version of yourself that you can be. Go out and get you some sunshine this week, whether it's just out on your porch. Um, <clears throat> just take in those rays of sun. Sometimes that feels so good. I just go stand out yes. in my driveway and suck up that yes. sun. Uh, especially for being in the house all the time. Uh, mm -hmm. So get out, get you some sun this weekend. Go get you some fruit, a fruit smoothie. Get you something sweet if you want. It's your business. <laughs> says it is your business. Oh, last but not least, um, have many of you heard of the Sevenada Health Food Store? Yes. Yes. Health food, natural health food market. Well, I went there yesterday with Kim. And she turned me on to these aromatherapy scent inhalers. And this is what they, let me, 
And this is what they look like. Um, they have them for everything, stress, to lift your mood, for PMS or anything. You don't have to put them up your nose. You just hold it this close, sniff it up. And it actually works. So she bought me this one yesterday, but I tried hers too yesterday. But that's another little source of staying calm or whatever you need. Um, take you a sniff of these natural herbs that's in here. Also, they have over a ton of free magazines in there. That's where I got the topic for today for gut health. They got a whole pamphlet on it. They got pamphlets on everything else, black owned businesses, all that type of stuff. So that's another. Where's it story. located? Um, it is Little Five Points. Little Five Point. Oh, okay. 467 Moreland Avenue. What's the name of it again? Sevenada, S E V A N A N D A. Natural Foods Market. And they got a lot of nice stuff in there. Also got a uh, natural uh, fruit, um, kind of smoothie like for the help you out all day. It was very good. Put them in the freezer. They more like the smoothie that way. It's nothing but fresh fruits and vegetables. All right, y'all, we're going to get out of here. Oh, I'm sorry. Next week, y'all know we're back to vaccinations in the building. So we will not be having classes Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. We will be at Darnell doing the vaccination work. We will have class Tuesday and Thursday. Okay. All right. Love y'all and be safe out there. Okay. Love you too. Bye. Bye. Bye.